Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our last break of the night, and it's going to be 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number six. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Dustin with that last spot mojo on a Saturday night. It's another Saturday night, and I ain't got no. Oh, double last spot mojo. You got the Padres, too. And there's everyone else. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. We did a lot of the, all the new releases all throughout the week. So this break will take us uh, right to the end of the broadcast. So this is our last break of the night. We will run the All Spot Sold promo. Uh, after this break, we'll go from there. Uh, folks, you can still get into that promo, by the way. You guys have about a little over half an hour. Just go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, click on the promo link, and you'll see what breaks you need to buy to get into it. So if you want to get into the promo, like you can still do it. You still have time. The deadline isn't until the bottom of next hour. Six winners of $50 each, so pretty good odds too. All right, good luck, everybody. Ryan Hack is a uh, is a Brewers fan, but he did get the Cardinals. Maybe new guy mojo. I think this is your first break, right? He's gonna give this a shot. You most people should get should get at least a stack of something. You know, even though we don't ship the veteran base, the commons, usually there's enough inserts and enough like random variations to at least get a small stack of something. First break ever. Oh, well, good luck. Right, Andy? Yeah. But wait, order in the next 15 minutes. And... I don't know. People don't want to win break credit, I guess. All they have to do is buy like a $20, $22 spot. Possibly get a big hit and then try to win some break credit. I'd do it. Flawless football is on that list too. Might as well increase the value of buying a flawless football team. Chance of break credit. All right. Here we go. We got Mike Trout. Variation. And our autograph is nice Ozzy Alvius. Nice autograph for the Braves, Sen Yin with the Bravos. Twenty six out of ninety nine. Got Tyler Wade autograph. Two early autographs. Is this a hot box? Usually they're on the bottom. That's for the Yankees, Dustin Hughes with that one. There you go, Dustin. All we are, Dustin, the win. We got Cody Bellinger at a 299. Just in the interest of time, I will not be sleeving these up unless they're out of 25 and lower. We're going to have the shipping team sleeve up and top load those before they go out to you. Nick Williams to 149. And our shipping crew will also be looking at the backs of the cards because if, if that baseball is black, and if it's colored in, then that means it's a variation. So we'll be making sure. Some, they don't always flip it around, these variations around like that, but there you go. Gary Sanchez out of 199. And first box in the books. All right, next box. Right, so yeah, Stephen K, who won break credit in the actual break itself, also has a shot at getting more break credit. So you might get, uh, Stephen K, you might have a chance to not only 
have that spot paid for, but actually we would have paid you essentially to get that Steph Curry instead of just the spot being covered. It's crazy, right? It's possible nobody wants to get into the promo, Stephen K. So your odds are are a lot better than it normally would. I think there's only like seventy some odd people in a promo in a three hundred dollar promo. Top six win fifty bucks each. So everyone's odds are actually really good. We should we should have made you guys fill those breaks to unlock that promo. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Clint Frazier just pops right out there. Yankees. Dustin Hughes. Dust in the wind. I close my eyes only for a moment, then the moment. There's Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. out of 149, both for the Mariners, of course. That'll go to Dakota. So I mean, obviously these rated rookies are going to ship. And if there's like a refractor version of a vet base, obviously those will ship too, in case you were wondering. And then we've got Cameron Gallagher. Rated rookie auto for the Royals. Gabe G. Lo with Kansas City. There's Corey's brother, Kyle. There's you Darvish. I don't, I don't know why that was flipped around like that out of 149. There's Otani. We'll save one of those two for the Angels. Jack Flaherty. And there's Francisco Lindor and Omar Vizquel to 99 for the Tribe. That'll be for Paul Nixon. Good to see Paul Nixon's name back. Back on the sheet. All right, next box. TJ, Christian Williams is looking for you. This is this is this is a little usually a little late for 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 TJ Christian Williams, but it is a Saturday, so never know. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Um, for those of you who uh, have been watching. Throughout the night, I don't think the Colorado Rapids are going to do it. Oh, there he is, Christian. 83rd minute. They're still down 2 1. I need him to win. Two goals? I don't know. Soccer's a crazy game. We got Kirby Puckett out of 50. Nice. Adrian Beltre, their 3,000 hit cl club variation. There's Otani running. Yoan Mankata, Andrew Benintendi variation, Mookie Betts refractor. Those will ship. We got Gliber. Look at that. 
rated prospect autograph. It's Glaber Day for Dustin Hughes. He's got three Yankees autographs already. That's strong. There's J.P. Crawford to 199 points. Usually there's one of these per case, but if there's more, it'll be a winner-take-all randomizer at the end. I thought I saw some green there, but maybe not. Oh, there's that. Is that green? No, that's never mind. Just psyching myself out, like looking for them train whistles. It's just a refractor. Oh, there it is. Amon Rosario to 299. So the, those points take the place of an autograph, by the way. All right, next box. What is this? Did like a, a mouse? Is there a mouse in there? Mouse chewed on that? All right, good luck, boys and girls. Next one. Come on, Colorado Rapids. It's Tim Howard letting in two goals early because he's 39 years old. Yeah, Gilo. I was I was just goofing around and I put like like um, a buck a game on like MLS matchups today <laughs> just just to just to screw around because there's nothing else to bet on. It's just baseball and that's it. No World Cup, nothing. I had the soccer itch, so I <laughs> I put a dollar on on the rapid or the Colorado Rapids at like plus six hundred something ridiculous like that, and um. And we were just—I was just looking. The game was delayed because of thunderstorm. I was just—we were just looking at the squad, and I was like, "Wait a second, Tim Howard is keeper on this team." And then I think TJ earlier was like, "Howard still plays," and we looked at him. He's like 39 years old. I didn't realize he got old real fast. 39 years old, still plays for the Colorado. Your Colorado Rapids, old Team USA legend, played for I think keeper for Everton in the Premier League for a while. He was really. Keepers have kind of a longer career, but he was he was a great keeper for a long stretch of time. Very strong. Just old older now. Happens. Clint Clint Frazier, what is it? Yankees case? Dust in the wind. Dustin Hughes. Nice. Gonna keep chipping away at the cost of admission of those Yankees. Chris Bryant. Out of 199, Andrew Stevenson is your rated rookie autograph for the Nats. TJ on the board. We'll keep. Oh, I thought that was an Otani. Sorry, Jack Flaherty. Um, I remember when you, when I used to pretend to like soccer when you was playing. The team, there was like a a, a a little window of I guess an American version of a golden generation. Um, there's Kutch. Nice variation. Kutch var nickname variation and parallel out of 199. Um, but there was kind of that golden generation where, where everyone, everyone knew who like Clint Dempsey was. Everyone knew who like Tim Howard was and he was like an incredible keeper. And There's Yachty to 149. That'll go to Ryan. There you go, Ryan. A little par nice parallel going out to you. Maybe we'll find some ink for you. But yeah, I mean, people knew that. And I, th I think everyone loves a good goalkeeper, right? I think that maybe that's a carryover from like uh, from hockey because everyone will know like a goalkeeper, you know, like who just plays out of his mind, you know, and um, just plays out of his mind. And everyone kind of knows that goalkeeper. Oh, the Rapids tied it up. Come on, Colorado Rapids. You can score one more in another minute. Oh, it's at the very this is this is gonna be a draw. Damn it. 
I don't think the draw price is as good. It's like plus 400. Oh well. I'm not a... For entertainment purposes only, folks. I'm not a... I'm not an MLS sharp. I'm not a sharp in, any, in, in, in anything in this world. Is this a... Uh, this looks like a parallel hotbox, boys and girls. Nice. Oh, I could watch this game on ESPN Plus. Does anyone have to? I asked this earlier. No one seemed to respond. Or maybe no one had it. And everyone... ESPN Plus. Does anyone actually do that? I feel like... I feel like it's just another five bucks a month that's going to go to something I don't use enough. All right. Joey Gallo. Out of 199. Chris Sale. To 299. Garrett Cole to 99. Justin Turner blue to 149 for red turn two. And the straw man, Daryl Strawberry, optic autographs for the Metropolitans. Dustin has the Mets too. He's got both New York teams. There's Reese Hoskins to 299. Oh, Gabe's used it last week for the Pacquiao fight. Just like the free trial, or are you actually paying for it now? Out of 299, Jose Ramirez, Mitch Garver for the Twins out of 99. Marcus Stroman to 199. He's kind of on a weird start. He's on my fantasy team. Out of 299, Zach Cozart. He's actually not playing very well. Josh Bell, Diamond Kings insert to 199 for the Pirates. Joe Morgan, nice. Reds out of 299. Leody Tavares out of 99. Just spinning around, Leody. Chris Sale, Mound Marvels to 149. Tiago Vieira out of 299 for the White Sox. And Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. Jeremy Tillman with the rated rookie autograph of Nicky Delmonico. There's Aaron Judge standouts to 99. Just a free trial says Gabe. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. I don't think there's enough on there. I mean, I like the 30 for 30s a lot. There's Tyler O'Neill, ton out of 199. He's on the Cardinals now. Salvador Perez, 299. JD Martinez, Red Sox edition to 50. Otani, Beltray, 3000 hit club to 149. And Kutch, again, orange parallel to 199 for the Giants. That'll be for Dylan. Nice. I love those parallel hot boxes. The parallels are always fun. But yeah, it does have all the MLS games. I don't know. They should televise more of those. Um, just on the actual cable TV that I'm paying for. So I'm paying five bucks extra a month for. I already pay enough for cable. Just add it to my cable package. I feel like it should be one of those things, you know, like if I'm already have like maybe a special ESPN channel or something like that through my cable provider, just give me ESPN plus for free. I like the 30 for 30s a lot and I like those like Kobe Bryant detail kind of thing, but I figure, I figure if people, someone's going to put it on, someone's going to put it on, uh, <laughs> on YouTube at some point. Yeah, I guess if you're really into the MLS, it's kind of a steal for five bucks, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, I'd want, I feel like I should have it for free. All right, Real Salt Lake, in case you guys are paying, keeping score, Real Salt Lake 2, Rapids 2, so don't quite win that one. Although I'm still up on the day on MLS, so <laughs> stay tuned next Saturday for another group of MLS picks. I think most of the games are Saturday games. I'm glad I get MLB TV for free through T-Mobile. Every year, T-Mobile, for like the last two or three years, T-Mobile has had some promo um, where on a, on a particular Tuesday, 
I can just sign up for MLB TV and I get it for the year for free. That's one of the best phone deals that I've ever seen. The one that I actually use. There's Cody Bellinger at a 99. Yeah, Gabe's like, I'm never leaving T-Mobile. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as that promo goes away, I'm like, I'm free agent after that. And I'm a cell phone free agent after that. There's the Mick for the Yankees at a 99. There's Yuan Mankata, 299. Steven Strasburg, Refractor. Chris Bryan, Hollow. And Walker Bueller, seemingly the one per case Walker Bueller, but still nice to get the Dodger future ace, Nicholas Leslie, with the Walker Bueller. Out of 125. Was this different from the first one you got? Or was it the same parallel? Hopefully it's a different one. Add something different. And then we've got Dylan Peters for the Miami Marlins. And that'll be for Paul Harris with the fish. All right, next one. Oh, it's the same one? Boo. I was hoping you got like a different one. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Amari Cooper hands here. Just pack flying all over the place. Oh, I remember the I remember the PlayStation View thing. I mean, I never had it, but I, I heard about it. They had a good deal, right? MLB, NBA, and NFL for like forty five bucks. That's not too shabby. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the day when I don't know. I mean, I guess options for the cons for us, the consumer, is pretty good. But at some point, there's too many options, right? Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes maybe a regu regulation is a good thing. You know, you can't overregulate things. You can't underregulate things. Too much. I think another parallel hot box. Yes, Mitch Garver to two ninety nine for the uh, Twins. Chris Archer for the Rays to ninety nine. We got Chris Archer again for the Rays to one forty nine. That'll go to Stephen K. And we've got Fergie Jenkins. Significant signatures. Hall of Famer Fergie Jenkins for the Cubbies. Chris Parent on the board with an auto. Nice. Rated rookie Ozzy Albius to 149 for the Bravos. D. Gordon, Mariners edition on a 299. Salvador Perez to 299. Dominic Smith, Metropolitans to 99. Salvador Perez again, Diamond Kings to 149. Andrew Miller with uh, out of 299. He's got Brad Hand behind him now. And another Nicky Delmonico, rated rookie autograph for Tillman, JT, and the White Sox. 32 out of 50. Chris Bryant to 299. Jose Ramirez out of 199. Trevor Story. To 199. There's Machado, Paul Goldschmidt, Goldie to 299. Harrison Bader, Darth Vader, Darth Bader to 199. 
goes to the Cardinals. Corey Seager out of 299. Jose Bautista uh, to 199. Otani out of this world. Another Chris Archer to 299. Zach Granite for the Twins to 50. Andrew Miller for the Tribe to 149. And Cody Bellinger for Nicholas Leslie M. I Dodgers to 99. There you go. So those, so both of the uh, of the parallel hot boxes have popped out. I believe, from what we've noticed, it seems like these the last two boxes on the bottom side right there, when when the name of the product is pointing at us, that seems to be the uh, that seems to be where the two hot boxes are. Uh, no, there's two autos in each box. It says right here, two autographs per box on average. And then in the hot boxes, there are five. You might be able to build that archer rainbow. If I pull you like an out of five, you got you to gotta do it. Like if I, anybody who gets pulled in a one of one or an out of five, you got to build the rainbow. So like Nicholas, I don't know if you're still listening. What was that Bellinger again? What was the insert? Because it wasn't just a standard card, right? I think it was like a Cody Bellinger, like out of this world, one of one or something like that. So now I think it's your obligation to try to build that, to build the uh, the rainbow. So with the same ca exact card, you get the out of five, you got to get the out of 10, you got to get the out of 25, the out of 50, the out of 99, the out of 149, the out of 199. Got to do it. Build that rainbow. Build that set. I think you have to. I, I think anyone who gets a, it's harder to go the other, to go the reverse way, because you'll end up getting like three quarters of the rainbow, and then you're like, oh, where do I find the out of fives? Where do I find the one of ones? Right. But you got the hardest, one of the hardest ones out of the way. So there you go. Uh, what do I think? Gabe's asking, what do I think would happen if Seager never got hurt in terms of trades? I don't know. My guess is they would they would have tried to address second base because I think that's always been kind of it's either old you know old Chase Utley the Silver Fox I love him but he's on the old side he's retiring at the end of the season um, it's either him or it's Logan Forsyth who just hasn't worked out at second base. There's Kutch to 299 for the Giants. So that's why that's I think they would have tried to address second base. Maybe try to get Brian Dozier from the Twins or something like that. I think they would have tried to address that position. And then once again, and then bullpen again. Out of 299, Nolan Ryan. I think the Dodgers will still make like a small move for, for bullpen help. They're kind of, I think they're kind of right up against that luxury tax threshold. So my guess is they're not going to, wow. Two nights in a row, rated prospect autograph for the Blue Jays. Dustin Hughes, Dustin the Wind with Vlad Guerrero Jr. That is strong. He's going to be the big name in the hobby next season. And we've got an out of 10. Wow. Gold rated rookie, Eric Fetty. And that is for TJ and the Washington Nationals. Six out of 10. That card is gold. And you get the Scherzer too. Blue out of 149. Oh, I think... It's, it is the same size, Andy, or same side, but I think it depends on how I pull out how I pull out the hits in the box because I think if I pull it out this way, then it's always these two. But if I pull the case out and it's this way, then it's always the, these two. 
but I think it's in the same position. So it's supposed to, should be these. But I think so far, and everyone else who's been watching the other guys, everyone who's been watching other breaks have also said that it seems to be in the same position every time. So, I mean, of the five cases we've done, it has been in that same position. I think one of the breaks I had pulled the, out the boxes the other way around, so it was that other side, but... Um, yeah, I mean, if they, if they let you open a fresh case, yeah. Which is kind of weird because it'd be naturally the one that you would pick first. It would just, cause it would just be on top. But I'm sure by now local card shops have figured that out. I don't know. It, this question came out. Oh, who was asking that? I think it was Hayes. Hayes, was it you or was it someone else? Someone, someone had asked the question, Hey, do you think it's fair? Or, or, or how do you feel about them being in the same position every time? In, in a group break like this, I don't think it really matters very much just because we're doing all 12 boxes all at once. However, it does open – so it's not a huge deal, but it does open up possibilities of, you know, of shadiness if, if you're joining a break and they're, and they're already loose boxes and there's no video of a fresh case being opened up. You know what I mean? So let's say they're, someone's doing a, a three-box break or something like that, and you're like, well, where do these come from, you know? Or if you're buying if you're buying individual boxes, who's to say that you know someone at, at that local car shop or at that store had already took it take took out the or took out the two autograph hot boxes, you know, and then um, you know and then was sells the sells the rest of the boxes. So I don't know. It just kind of opens up. Um, I think it, I think especially for yeah especially for shops. I think that kind of opens up an uncomfortable sort of sort of thing you know there's Dustin Fowler for the A's Kip Kip hooray with the A's but for us since we're doing full case breaks and and you and they're from fresh cases that we open up live obviously that eliminates that factor but just something to I don't think it's a huge deal it's just but just something to consider if you happen to break with some of the other guys, you know, I don't think it's, I definitely don't think it's shady on Panini's part. Maybe a little lazy, <laughs> you know, because previous years, it's all mixed up. I don't know. It must've been a production thing because maybe it's something that, um, actually they might not even have control over it. Now that I think about it, Hayes, um, I think that, uh, because all these cards are printed in these big card factories and I think outside of Dallas, and so, hey, these are the hot boxes right here. Oh, so they were, they were on the left side. Well, still the top two boxes, though. Well, there's uh, Reyes Moronta out of 50. For the Giants, that goes to Dylan. Dylan juiced with that one. Year in review, Bellinger. That's to 140. No, I already pulled these. How about... Signature Series, Brian Dozier. There's Thiago Vieira for JT and the White Sox. But um, but yeah. Now that I think about it, it's probably not even Panini's fault at all. I mean, because I th when when these when these get all like when all the files, the photo files, and all this stuff get shipped, uh, get sent to the uh, to the printer, they're the ones doing everything. You know what I mean? They're the ones packing these up and and all that jazz. So I'll bet it's the manufacturer or the the printer that uh that was just like oh yeah well, let's ins let these are the ones with there then they they exactly they packed them into the case last 
and it kind of sucks because I think I think you know to to most to the casual consumer, Panini and Printer is just all the same. So they're just like, come on, Panini. They're getting yelled at. But they don't want to throw their their they don't they know they don't they don't want to throw their printers under the bus. But I'm sure some phone calls have been made and been like, hey, you got to mix these up next time. It's like I know it might be a hassle, but. Um, well, I, I'm actually not sure where it is, Rob, but it's somewhere near Dallas, in Dallas, near Dallas, around Dallas. There's these, um, the printers that print all these cards, they print like, they print al almost, I think almost every single card that you see gets printed in a number of those factories, um, printer printing factories in, in, in or around Dallas. I think some people who got who went to the Panini conference this earlier this year, I think may have gotten gotten a tour of that printing facility. But they print the Magic the Gathering, um, like Magic the Gathering cards, you know, and a lot of the other different cards. Yeah, Gabe, it's it's good to it's good to support your local card shop. Always a good thing. Yeah, Andy, you're you're in a you're in the area. If you uh, if you ever wanted a career change, you could maybe work for those guys. Beckett is in Dallas too. And we got Roy Halladay, significant signatures. That is for the Phillies. Rick T with that one. All right. Forgot that it was in this set. George Brett out of one forty nine. Hayes reminiscing. <laughs> Man, I wish Wizard of the Coast still made Pokemon cards. Do they not? Who makes them now? I I somewhere there's Clint uh, Clory Kluber that is to two ninety nine for Paul. Um, I still have a, a stack of Pokemon cards somewhere. I don't think anything, any of them was, were especial, but there's Adrian Beltre for the Rangers. One out of ten. These nice low number ones I'll sleeve up right away. Dustin Hughes with the Texas Rangers. Walker, Texas Ranger. They don't, but whoever makes them now, the qualities. You know, um, I think Kids still play Pokemon, I think. The cards. I think it's still still a serious serious thing. There's Chance Cisco. Um, there are a lot of local the some of the local card shops or a lot of local card shops around here that have survived. That goes to Christian Williams. There you go, Christian. Orioles. Um, and have a lot of, and happen to be card shops with like a lot of real estate or stuff like that. Um, They host. They host uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, gathering tournaments, and like Pokemon tournaments, and and it's just a place for like kids to gather, right? Pun intended. Place place to gather, and then um, you know they got like big folding tables like set up, like you see like the big long table folding tables you see at like church and stuff, and um, they got all that, and uh, like. They can they can make a lot of money hosting those events, or just being the facility for those events. Andy Gar, you should look it up if you're if you do a career change, go go with Panini. You know, I, I would say you're pretty familiar with the hobby. You're you you've watched us long enough. You you've been in breaks, in a lot of our breaks, and you know. What the deal is? What what the what the audience is like? You, you you could be our inside scoop man there. You used to play po. Is it on? Is it online too? I don't I don't know how that works anymore. How do you, I don't even know how to. I don't know. There was a great, 
there was a fascinating Magic the Gathering documentary that I watched. I've never played that in my entire life, but there was a documentary that I watched. I don't know what it was called. Someone of you, someone might know, but not into that kind of thing. But, um, but I was just like. It was extremely fascinating to watch. Just about how because it's such a cool like niche world. Like, you know, I don't I don't I don't look down on I don't look down on that kind of thing. I do a lot of nerdy things too. So But it was it was fascinating to watch because there was such a huge huge culture behind it and everything. We got Aaron Judge at a 99. Year in review, Cody Ballinger to 149. Ooh, a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? I don't know who the redemptions are in this set. We don't see a lot of redemptions in here, actually. Chancisco, rated rookie autograph for the Orioles, Christian Williams. <laughs> Bill saying that all all the kids that did those games were were all emo. For us, it was just it wasn't really like that. The emo kids were a little different. They were just smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee in the in the back. Um. No, uh, I think that's a parallel. It is out of twenty five. Nice. Um. No, a lot of kids played it out here in California. Hayes asking, if you could call Panini and recommend a new type of card, what would it be? How do you, like, type as in what? Like, uh, in terms of, like, design or, like, an actual different type of material or both? That's an interesting question. All right. Nick Senzel. I don't think we've seen him. Rated prospect signatures Aqua. For Dustin Hughes and the Red Legs, nice. Hmm. Yeah, like rib card. Oh, okay. So, so like, like fun inserts, like rib card or frames or autos or relics or. Well, I've got I've got a boring answer to tell you first. I wish that. Um, I wish that they would, like, all the relics will be game used and they do those hologram stickers like MLB does. Because MLB actually has that as a proprietary, it's a separate company, but I think they own the that proprietary system for hologramming and documenting and all that sort of stuff. They're trying to extend it to, they're trying to extend it to um, uh, NFL as well. And hopefully all other sports. I would love to see, I would love to see that. And I think we're trending in that direction. But I would love to see that like soon, <laughs> like sooner, where every relic is. It doesn't have to be like amazing, but as long. But I'd love that sticker just to say, hey, here's here's a game used relic. You know where it was. It it was from this game on this date. You know, and it's all authenticated. Blah 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 blah. I think that would be really cool. Um. In terms of more quirky stuff, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I do like the rib card. I think the rib cards is such a fun thing. I, I I think maybe something like that, you know, if if they can incorporate, if any but any company can incorporate more kind of fun stuff like that. I like the you know what I was saying this earlier wood wood cards. I'd like to see those inserts. I think those are really fun. Bill saying less products, that's never going to happen. Um, and more quality like the cup, I don't know. Not not everyone can afford $700 boxes, $800 boxes. Less products will never happen because of, and it's not by almost by their choice, but when they sign deals with the NFLPA, like Panini, for example, signs an exclusive deal with NFLPA and the NFL for all the licensing, there's actually an agreement that says – you have to produce X amount of uh, uh, product a year, like 30 or something like that. 
And so in order for them to cover the cost of the license, they will usually make all 30, you know, that the, as, a, as like the max or whatever. So sometimes you won't see black gold because it was replaced with another brand new product. So there's only an X amount of products they can actually do, but they'll always do the max amount because otherwise that cost goes to all of us. You know, if they're producing 10 fewer products, then all that cost for licensing gets spread out into all the other products like optic football when it comes out, you know, will be, I don't know. I don't know what the numbers could be, but so that's why that would never happen. Mostly because it's the licensing fee that the NFL and NFLPA charge to Panini. Out of 125. Tyler Maley. So this this should be the last autograph hot box. That's for Dustin Hughes and the and, and the Reds. There's Giancarlo Stanton to ninety nine. So blame the greedy players union for, for making companies overproduce. I mean, you know, it's, it's hand in hand, but you know what I mean. It's mostly, the, it's mostly that licensing fee. There's Austin Hayes for the O's, another one for Christian Williams. I have not, Andy. It's literally, I'll, I'll have to take a picture just to prove it. Um, I've got a big uh, bookshelf next to, next to my bed. It's kind of like a low, it's like, the, it's, and they're like square box, and I've I've got all my books right there. It's literally sitting in the 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 book cubby hole closest to me, and and I look at it every day. <laughs> Thomas Nito, I got distracted. I got distracted by the by uh, the Jurgen Klopp biography because I was all like in a World Cup soccer mood. Um, and then I and then I picked up a a baseball betting book. Uh, more of a memoir by this guy named Joe Pita called Trading Bases, which I started reading. But I've got like the, I've got Chris Matthews's Bobby Kennedy biography sitting there. I've got these JFK books that I got last year that are just sitting there. There's so many books. I I, I'll, I should show you the stack of books I've purchased and not seen. I bought Sicario on Blu-ray digital video disc <laughs> because I wanted to watch that. I haven't even... I've unwrapped it from the plastic. There's Jimmy Scherfe for the uh, Dustin and the Last Spot Mojo. Starling Marte goes to the Pirates. Derek P. Thomas Nito for Dustin and the Mets. So, I don't know why I do, I do this. It's just got a stack of stack of stuff. I need to watch all of that. And I think I think Ready Player One's coming out on like digital video disc at some point too, right? Out of twenty five. You don't understand that NFLP gets paid for licensing, but Tom Brady isn't required to sign a certain because he's Tom Brady. He's a special. And he can charge hundreds of dollars an autograph out of 125 on that haze. And that Gene Segura is 10 out of 25 for the Mariners. And that'll be for Dakota. And that's it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I did this in record time. Randomizer. Yeah, the economics of the uh, of the of, of the case breaking world is very interesting, or not the case breaking world of just the of just the hobby in general. I think uh, I think all the manufacturers get blamed for a lot of things that they really have no control over, um, you know, rightly and wrongly sometimes, you know, but a lot of misconceptions sometimes. But all right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each one five and a six eleven times. One, two. Three, name on top gets the points. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven at the final time. And Christian Williams, bonus, 250 points. Going to be mailed out to you. And there you have it, folks. Another great break of Panini, Donruss, Optic Baseball, JaspiesHobbyland.com, home of the big hits. They're not all bad. They're not, the manufacturers aren't always the bad guy, folks. Cut up some slack. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye, Panini.